Hello, Carol Undy here again and today we're going to look at putting um, a design onto a pattern piece. So what I've done is I've loaded my pattern which I'd scanned in. It's the booty pattern. Now this booty, this pair of booties is on the projects page of my website and they're really quite adorable when they're made up. Um, but this is an easy way of getting your design exactly where you want it on the pattern piece before you even cut out. So what I've done as I said is load the pattern in and so I'm going to go to picture to design view. We don't need to do anything with the artwork and sorry now we'll go back to the picture view again and I'll just zoom out to show all and select the picture <coughs> excuse me and click on it again so that I can rotate the picture and I've got my grid on so I can line that up that way better yep and so the only piece I'm interested in is the toe part of the booty but we'll just leave it as it is and go on to the design view and we'll view one to one so that I can um, see it nice and large there on the screen. The first thing I'm going to do is digitize an outline around the pattern piece. That will be my cutting line for when I um, take the fabric out of the hoop. So we'll just go to um, enclosed object and we want a an outline so click on outline just a single outline will do and the default color will be fine and all you need to do is click around the object left click in the corners and then right click around the curve and press enter and you've now got a green outline for your booty toe pattern. Okay now we can just hide the picture and I might just change the color of that so that you can really see it so let's select it and change the color to red. Okay that's really obvious now now what we're going to do is add our design. Now when you're adding a design you need to um, go File, Insert Design and then Navigate. If you go Open it will open a new design and you won't have your booty pattern in the background. So File, Insert Design and then Navigate to where your design is. I'll just pause the video while I find mine. Okay, so here I am at m where my bow is and it's the Bow 1 Art 50 and just go open and it will bring your design in with your booty pattern. Now the bow's up the right way, the booty pattern's going to be the wrong way up so let's just select the booty pattern and mirror image that. Okay. Now we can put the booty, the bow the right way up in the booty pattern. The other thing is the bow pattern is far too large. Now this is the bow pattern that we digitized and then um, made the small bow out of the other one and I've put different colored ties on it here. Um, I'm just going to select it and I'm going to shrink it down. I only needed about three centimeters across so if I just look at my grid and get it down to three squares across. That's about right. And just place it where I want it, remembering that I have um, a quarter inch seam allowance has come comes in around here. And also the front of the booty, if you look at the picture on my projects page of the finished booties, you'll see that um, because the front curves, you don't want the bow too big. So this is the size I ended up with. That's probably a little bit small. We'll go a little bit bigger. Okay, that's good. Now I want to center these two. So if I hold down my shift key, <coughs> select them both. 
and go align centers vertically which is this one here now I've got my bow perfectly centered with the center of the booty pattern and that's all there is to it now you can um, stitch this out in a small hoop and it will stitch if we go to our color film it's going to stitch the outline first and then stitch the bow if you want to do two at once then select yourself a larger hoop that you have for your machine <coughs> I'm going to select the Two fifty-five by one forty-five oval. Go OK. Now I've got room to put two, and as you need two fronts for two, a pair of booties, um, the quick way now is to edit select all, copy and paste. And mirror image that one. OK. So you can now put the two in the hoop. Let's just take this one up. OK. Now if you want to, you can colour sort here so that you get your two outlines sewing together without having to change your um, thread. So you can take the red up, drag the red up next to the other red and now the two, if I put um, show all objects you'll see the two outlines will sew first and then you'll start with your um, colors now you could end up with a lot of color changes here too so um, it's going to sew these two and these two these four purple bits first then the pink then the knot then the other four purple bits then the pink and then the knot at the end. So what we can do is we can bring that knot down. Ah, sorry, they're grouped. If this is grouped, then you'll need to ungroup. Click off. Then when you click on the knot, it'll be a single knot. Just check that your other is grouped as well, of course. So you'll need to ungroup that one as well. Move your knot down to your other knot. OK and move your purples if you hold your shift key down these purples can sew with those purples so you've got give the reason you need your knots last is they have to sit on top so you've got all your purple sewing then you've got all your pink sewing and then your knots at the end that just cuts down on your color changes a little bit so you've only got four color changes now oh, sorry three one two three color changes after your first one i hope you enjoyed that and i if i hope you like making the booties um the pattern for the booties is freely available online and so if you go to my projects page you'll find a link there to download the booty pattern thank you very much for watching please comment rate and subscribe to my videos if you don't want to miss any. Thank you very much.